Wayne Viner, Turp Talk. It, it seems like you've been doing this for a while. Uh, the Maryland receiver situation, as far as Maryland goes, is, is outstanding. Does this group remind you of any groups that you've had in the past? Well, each group has its own personality, but, but I would say that uh, at, at UNC one year I had four four guys and all four went to the NFL. They were all different. One was a slot, one was a real tall guy, one was a medium-sized guy. So it was a you know, very unique group, but all four kind of came in at the same time, very similar uh, skill sets. Uh, but each one has its own. So, you know, I've been in as long as I have. You, you get get a chance to see different groups. This is a very special group. It's very talented, and I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what they do. What attracted you to to devote your life to being a receivers coach? Well, I, I didn't play it very well, but I played the position back in the day and uh, really enjoyed it. My dad was a coach. He was a head coach for a long time. He played for the Redskins, well, Washington, whatever the name is now. We'll give uh, you a pass on that. There you go. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was Redskins when he played anyway. Right. So, uh, you know, football's always been in my family. That's all I've done, all I've ever known. So that part of it, just getting hooked into business and uh, being around kids keeps you young. I've uh, never worked a day in my life. It's been some long days, but I've never had to work a day in my life. And the experience you get with partnering with these young men is, is pretty unique. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. With Maryland's facilities now, the beautiful practice facility right next to the stadium, how does this compare to NFL situations that you've seen? Well, actually, a lot of colleges have much better facilities than some of the NFL teams because you don't you don't have to recruit the NFL player; you just get to draft him. So, uh, with free agency, though, that has changed a little bit. So you see some upgrades. My my time in Philly had a very very nice complex, and uh, we actually went and visited the, the other day and talked some ball with them. So, uh, but some of the places this is very unique. It's a Taj Mahal of uh, a place as far as this facility here. I've been around a long time, and there's not too many quite like this. A combination of practice facility, uh, meeting space, office space, all rolled up into one. And one last one, I'll turn over to the young guys here. How do you keep so many talented wide receivers happy when there's still only one football? Well, I think that has to do with how many times you, you throw the ball and how explosive you are at offense. Uh, the pace that you run and the number of plays that you try to get, you know, it's, it's unique in that uh, you can spread the ball around a little bit. There may be one guy that leads one game, one guy that leads another, but at the end of the day, at the end of the season, if they're in offense and they're being molded and, and being a complete player, they feel like they have a chance to go to the next level in a scheme like that and being coached by people who've been there.